In this video, I'm overclocking the Ryzen 7 9700F up to 5.75 gigahertz in five minutes or less using the Asus ROG Crosshair X870E Hero motherboard and AIO cooling. I'll speed run you through the BIOS settings and provide some notes and tips along the way. Please note that this is for entertainment purposes only and not the whole picture. Don't just outright copy these settings and apply them to your system. If you want to learn how to overclock this CPU, have a look at the longer Scatterbencher video that's already up on this channel. When you've entered the BIOS, switch to the Extreme Tweaker menu. Set AI Overclock Tuner to Expo 1. That will make the memory run at our Expo rated frequency of DDR5 8000 and associated memory timings. Expo 1 will load only the primary timings and have the motherboard tune the secondary timings. Set memory frequency to DDR5 7800. I had to do this to stabilize the system since DDR5 8000 didn't work. You might not have to do this depending on the quality of your CPU. Switch to the advanced menu. Enter the AMD overclocking submenu. This will provide us with all the advanced AMD CPU overclocking tools. Enter the Precision Boost Overdrive submenu. Here we can use the AMD Precision Boost Overdrive 2 toolkit to increase the power, current and frequency headroom of the Precision Boost 2 boosting algorithm. Set Precision Boost Overdrive to Advanced. Set PBO limits to Motherboard. This adjusts the PBO platform parameters, PPT, TDC and EDC, according to the Motherboard order rules. On this motherboard, we find that the following values have changed. Set Precision Boost Overdrive Scalar Control to Manual. That enables us to override the Warranted Silicon Stress Level, or FID, which is one of the Precision Boost limiters governing the maximum allowed operating voltage. Set Precision Boost Overdrive Scalar to 10x. This increases the FID to 10 times the factory fused value. Now, the maximum voltage when all 16 cores are active is 1.35V, up 15mV from the default limit of 1.335V. Set CPU Boost Clock Override to Enabled Positive. That unlocks the ability to increase the CPU's programmed if max or maximum frequency up to 200MHz in steps of 1MHz, though the BIOSes usually provide 25MHz steps. Set Max CPU Boost Clock Override to 200. This increases the if max of the 8 Zen 5 CPU cores from 5550 MHz to 5750 MHz. Enter the Curve Optimizer submenu. Here's where the real magic happens as Curve Optimizer allows us to fine tune the VF curve for each core in a positive or negative direction. On Ryzen 9000 processors, we can set the Curve Optimizer for all cores, per CCD or per core. Set Curve Optimizer to All Cores. Set All Core Curve Optimizer Sign to Negative. Setting a negative offset means the CPU will use less voltage for a given frequency and boost to a higher frequency at a specific voltage. Note that the Curve Optimizer settings are highly CPU specific so you should find the best value for your CPU rather than just copying mine. I always try in steps of 5 magnitude. Set all core curve optimizer magnitude to 30, then save and exit the BIOS. We rerun our benchmarks to ensure everything works as intended and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. Higher is better and all of our benchmark scores are higher. The highest core clock reported in the operating system is 5750 MHz. When running the OCCT CPU SSE stability test, the average CPU effective clock is 5,355 MHz with 1.193 volts. The average CPU temperature is 95.2 degrees Celsius. The average CPU package power is 174.3 watts. And that's it. I thank you for watching, the YouTube members and the Patreons for the support, and see you next time.